Hi, everybody. So uh, in the course, we're going to be using the Anaconda Jupiter Python data science environment. This is a widely used open source uh, data science software environment. And uh, in this video, I want to walk through how to install it on Mac OS. There's another video that treats the Windows case. I won't be doing a video for Linux, um, but if you use Linux, then I imagine that um, you have enough experience to, to get the software installed yourself. Feel free to ask me if you need advice. Okay, so here's Mac OS. I'm gonna start in a web browser and I'm gonna to go to the Anaconda homepage, www.anaconda.com, like the snake. I would suggest, by the way, that you just follow along with me uh, if you want to, if you haven't yet installed this yourself. We're gonna to go to the individual edition and the download link and choose the 64-bit graphical installer for Mac OS. I'm assuming that you're running a, a, a recent version of the Mac operating system on a relatively recent computer. If, if you have old hardware or you're running an ancient version of Mac OS, uh, you may need uh, to do something different. And if you get stuck, give me a call on uh, email. So um, we're gonna, here's, Firefox for me starts the installer automatically. You may have to track down the installer file and double click it to get it to run. Uh, but once you do that, you just accept all of the defaults. It can take a little while. It's a, it's a substantial piece of software. And then uh, once you're done, you uh, can close out of the installer. No need to keep it. And now let's see if it actually worked. And for that, we are going to run a piece of software called Anaconda Navigator. And so I chose Spotlight Search to locate An Anaconda Navigator, and I'm gonna launch it. So Anaconda Navigator is like a um, um, graphical interface to the software that, that comes in Anaconda. And since we're going to be using this in the course, you might make your life easier if you uh, choose the Anaconda Navigator icon, which is this circle down here, the green circle, and, and, and right click on it in your dock. Oops. And once you've got it going, the software that we actually want to Verify is called Jupyter Lab, and these are all different tools that were installed as part of the uh, Jupyter package. But we're going to try to uh, launch Jupyter Lab. So click on Jupyter Lab, and if everything goes well, it'll open a page in your web browser which looks something like this. So on the left here are all of the uh, files and folders in your home directory, and on the right, are the commands to actually launch things. And so what I would suggest here is that, cre that you create a new folder for the course, which I'm gonna call Math 3094 as a place to work for, keep your materials for the course, and then go into that folder. And now to launch, this is still part of the verification process, to launch uh, a notebook, you click on Python 3 and you, you create um, here on the right, I'll make it a bit bigger, what's called a Jupyter Notebook environment. And you'll notice that it, it shows up as a file with the IPYNB extension and the name Untitled. That's a dumb name. So let's rename it by right-clicking on, um, on the thing here and choosing Rename, and let's call it Test Notebook. It's a good idea that the first thing you do when you create a notebook is to rename it. And then just to make sure that everything is working, we're gonna go over here into the, to click in the cell, this is called a cell here, and just type 50 times 70, for example, and then hit shift enter. So hit enter while holding the shift key down. And if everything has worked, it will compute 
50 times 70 and return 3,500. And at that point, you have um, successfully verified that you've installed the Jupyter Lab uh, environment. If uh, to quit out of this, you can just leave the, um, you can close the web browser. Well, maybe a better thing to do, let's save. So click on save. It tends to save automatically, but just in case uh, we saved it. And now we can whoop, quit out of the web browser and uh, you'll back, be back here to this Anaconda Navigator. You can go on with what you're doing. So you'll notice that I have hopefully kept Anaconda Navigator in the dock. And anytime I want to run it, I can click there. So um, that's a, a quick introduction to how to get Anaconda installed and Jupyter Notebooks running. That's not good. And uh, right click on it to keep it in your dock. 